Hello everyone, so today I'm going to do a quick video on two things, how to buy Bitcoin online and also how to or just demonstrate uh, one of the charities that you can actually donate Bitcoin to um, because uh, this is something that several charities around the world are getting into and uh, it's, qu it's quite cool and uh, I guess another bit of fun. Um, in the second or third video in the series I showed you how you can go to a Bitcoin ATM um, this was in Old Street in London and, and actually put some cash in the machine and, and, and actually sort of down, um, was able to get Bitcoin on my, on my phone from that machine. Uh, there are not too many Bitcoin ATMs around uh, in the UK in particular if you live outside London. Um, but I want to show you how it's very easy to, to actually buy Bitcoin online and then you know and then you can uh, spend it, do what you want with it and, or, and even better donate it to a, to a charity. Um, the charity I'm going to talk about, um, or donate to rather, is uh, RNLI, which is the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, which is a, um, it's a great charity. They do fantastic work sort of around the coast of the UK, um, rescuing, uh, rescuing people, and uh, they've been around for a long time. But, but they're actually, they've actually really sort of seized the, this kind of uh, the innovative ways to, to, to receive money and, and they've you know they're giving it a shot and, and, and we're going to see actually how much money they've collected so far in Bitcoin. So before we can actually um, donate any money to RNLI, um, we first have to uh, to buy some Bitcoin. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to, to do that. Right? So if we just go to so the, the, the website that I'm using to uh, to basically to uh, to buy Bitcoin is Coinbase. Um, so if you just, if you haven't got an account, it's very easy, you just uh, sign in, you know, enter usual details, username, password, all that kind of stuff. And then you just go to buy and sell here, okay? And so you can buy Bitcoin, you can buy Ethereum. Um, I'm gonna, um, obviously gonna buy Bitcoin. And I am going to buy, let's say, I'm gonna buy five pounds worth. Right, which equates to in the current market price, uh, zero point zero zero eight something 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 Bitcoin. Right, so I'm going to buy this instantly. Here's my uh, so I've entered my uh, debit card details um, in there. So confirm, and with a bit of luck. So I have a just like Red Wallet on my phone. I have a, a, when you sign up to Coinbase, uh, it creates a wallet for you. So Coinbase manages your wallet, it manages your, your, your private keys and all that kind of stuff. But you can transfer that money out of Coinbase into, into whatever Bitcoin wallet you want, just by, just by um, you know, for example, you could transfer it onto your phone by uh, you know, uh, using QR codes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I've now, if I go to dashboard, so I've now got 16 pounds and 39 pence worth of Bitcoin, right? It was previously, it was approximately um, 11. But I just wanted to demonstrate how quick it is to, to actually to, to, to buy Bitcoin online. So now, now I can do whatever I want with this, right? Um, so any questions about that process, uh, just, just let me know. But I'm going to kind of move on now to show you um, how to donate money, right? So yeah, so, so here we are at the, the Royal National Lifeboat Institution website and, and they have a page here um, on, so this is their Bitcoin address. Now, so often you'll see people only use Bitcoin addresses once. They have, they have a, a wallet address that they've published on the web. Um, and you can see so some of these questions are quite interesting to look through. Um, this one is, uh, it just says, the RNLI has a history of innovating and fundraising, holding the first street collection in 1891. So what they're basically saying is, we're just going to give it a shot. Uh, we, we, we think it's a, they say it's an innovative new kind of currency, and we believe accepting Bitcoin will result in donations that we may not otherwise receive. And that is absolutely true, because I've donated to these guys um, over time for various different reasons. Part of it um, as part of my learning process for, for actually um, spending and, and, and playing around with Bitcoin. So it's definitely true in my case. Um, and we'll show you in a second how much how much Bitcoin exactly they've actually um, collected. Um, so if you, so you can see some key questions down here um, that you can, I'll link this website down below so you can see um, some of these, uh, some of these FAQs that, that are quite, quite sort of interesting, but I, I think it's quite cool as a concept that 
that this charity and, and there are various other charities and, and institutions around the world that are, that are accepting Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin donations. Um, so so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, usual usual thing, I'm going to basically, I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to go back to my Coinbase Bit Wallet, right? And I am going to, and I'm going to go to send request and send funds. Okay, so send funds here. I'm just going to enter the Bitcoin address and I am going to, I'm going to donate five pounds worth of Bitcoin, right? This is going to calculate the amount of Bitcoin on the fly. Um, so that's the amount of Bitcoin that it's sending. Um, and I'm going to see a message. Go look at C and send funds. Okay, so so now the the send is complete. It says you successfully sent this amount of Bitcoin to to this address, right? So um, if I if I actually go to the blockchain now, I'm going to see. Obviously, this is what we usually do here. We we kind of you know do a transaction. Um, and then we go and uh, go and check that the transactions actually appeared, right? So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy this uh, Bitcoin address here, and I am going to go to my SmartBit blockchain explorer, which is which uh, from a previous video, and I'm going to. One second. So there it is. I'm going to do that, and so here we have. Um, so December the 10th, it's unconfirmed as yet, um, and this was my donation of 0 0.008059 Bitcoin. So usual story, it's not yet confirmed. Um, in about 10 minutes, it will be confirmed, but uh, and, and I think we've, we're familiar, with, you know, by now with the the, the concept of uh, tran transaction confirmation. So I'm not going to sort of sit here and wait around for that to happen. But what I do want to point out is. So in the blockchain explorer, I've said for th this particular Bitcoin address, this is kind of like the homepage for that address. So you can see you can see all the transactions that have been sent to that address when right? they go back. Um, so the, the last one was on December the 7th, which was uh, three days ago. Um, it wasn't me. And if I so if I if we go up here, we can see that the the total Bitcoin received to this address over time is 11.667 Bitcoin, right? So if we just check how much, how much that is. It's 7,189 pounds uh, in, in today's, uh, today's market rate. So it's not, it's not a, a vast amount of money, for, but for a, for a fairly small charity like like uh, like the RNLI, that that that's actually a, a good amount of money. It's a good, a good contribution. So, I think you know that's um, I I actually think that it's a it's a really I think that it's really good that these guys are are, are looking for the new ways to, to to generate money. And you know I hope that some of you watching this video you know feel free to obviously send these guys a. Um, a donation and uh, and and that's that's really that. So basically, just two two very two very uh, simple workflows: buying Bitcoin online and uh, and then donating some Bitcoin to charity. Again, just trying to drum home the 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 workflow of of how to send transactions. The the, the one one point you know key point is that the so the Coinbase the Coinbase wallet, which is the 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 website where I bought the Bitcoin, is a separate wallet. From my bread wallet, um, because the bread wallet on my phone has different private keys, um, different addresses installed on there. Uh, the Coinbase wallet has different private keys there. And if I want to, just like, and it's literally, Bitcoin is just like coins and notes, right? So if I if I have two wallets and a, and then a safe at home, I can take money out of my wallet that I carry every day and put it in the safe, and then and then that's where that money is located until I transfer it back into my wallet. And it's exactly the same. Um, with Bitcoin, um, the only, uh, and the difference being the the essentially the the, the location of, of the private keys that correspond to the addresses that hold your bitcoins, right? That hold the transaction outputs on the blockchain that have been unspent. So, just a very short one. 
Um, thank you very much for watching. As always, leave any questions down below. Please watch the other videos and ask questions on there. If you like this video, thumbs up, please, uh, because it's a crowded space, as I keep saying, and I really want to try and get 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 these videos noticed. Um, and you know, so please subscribe and, and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.